We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to this house and all who dwell here. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We may have heaven and earth. Listen to the word of the Lord. I will restore to you health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from God, full of grace and truth. Friends, we have gathered together to ask the blessing of Almighty God on this home, to dedicate this building and all who gather here to God's glory. O well, God, you are the source of every good and perfect gift. On this day, we celebrate the gift of coming home. Well, welcome to your new home. And uh, I want to thank everybody for putting in the hours and hours that we put in here. And uh, I want to recognize Willie, the the white t-shirt, because he's been sort of my guiding. When I have problems, I go talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got a way with City Hall. He can, he, can, he can twist, but not as hard as he'd like. <laughs> uh, so thank you for for helping us along from time to time. And uh, anybody else in the crowd that would like to say a word of encouragement, blessing, or whatever would be more than welcome. Kathy's got something, right? Um, yes. Um, I just wanted to say that we've been... Um, yeah, we've been a special couple, a special family. You, um, you're, you're in the body of Christ, we're in the church body, but more importantly, you welcomed every volunteer that came here. And, um, and um, you, you were good ambassadors for our city, because when people worked in your home, you were here. Yeah. And you talked to them, and you came and made dinner with us. And uh, we're happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that thing with yourself. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, this is so, I have this cross that was from uh, the 2010 National Lutheran Youth Gathering that was in New Orleans. And part of this, this cross was made by the individuals that came, the youth, and they signed it on the back. And I had a few left that I've been saving them for special occasions. Where have I been saving them, Michael? Oh, yeah. So it's in several places about us. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got rid of those crosses yet? <laughs> so, so, but even some of these crosses, Allison, I mean, uh, Alyssa was here as an intern, and they have prepared crosses. People from Atonement Lutheran, um, a member there, designed it and cut the wood. So, I mean, it's the whole community that did this. And then on the back, it's um, the, the kids have signed some of the churches they're from. So it truly reflects, I think, our whole church, because all these volunteers that came in, Many of these kids, many of these adults were from the churches that the children came from the youth. So, hang it in your home and know that it was made with love. Thank you. Thank you very much. I was here when this was made. Oh, uh -oh. Mm -hmm. We were here. Yes, I brought a group of kids. My husband and I, we were the new leaders of our church in Monroe when we left um, <coughs> we were up, upstate in Monroe, Louisiana. And, um, our couple of kids out. And we worked at Camden Store. Yeah. And our uh, first place was the, uh, what was it, the graveyard that the city oh, owned. Cemetery. Yes, yeah, the cemetery, the cemetery. And then we did a house. And my daughter got accepted to Loka. And that's what brought us back because, you know, she's just not coming back. <laughs> but, tell them what Loka is. Well, Loka is the uh, Center of Creative Arts, and she's a creative writer. And um, it brought her writing so much that she got accepted to attend. She graduated this year as a career writer in their program. And my husband got a job with PJ's Coffee. And one day Kathy showed up, you know, to give a donation. And they started talking. No So I'm going to go ahead with that because well, he loves to tell that story. You know, I'll <laughs> uh, take it back. And it's really because we came down here to work for Kathy Store, and we came down again for the um, Lutheran um, youth group here. We came by, and um, like I'm finna cry now, I want to cry then, just looking at this house. Had no clue that we would just be blessed by such a group to come in and help us. 
That was not our agenda when we came down here. Far from it. When we came down here, it was almost demolishing this house and selling the land. Had no clue it would look like this. Um, that day when Kathy came in, I, 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 I can't restore what was in the back of my mind, but it never really dawned on me that this would happen. You know, it, it, and, and um, the relationship between my employee and, 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 and can't restore goes back, I guess, quite a ways. But when I got involved, I, you know, it. it I just can't say much more. It, it was not on my mind that when that day that Kathy came in there and said, it's about time, and brought Walter around, and voila, wow, you know, I, I was just overwhelmed by the work, the love that is put into this house. You see this painted walls now. You don't see underneath it where the pencil writing with the clues before y'all came and wrote the names and, you know, blessings. signed blessings and stuff all along these walls you can't see right now. You know, it, 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 it'll be in my family's home, our hearts for generations to come. And I pray every day that everybody involved with this it is blessed as well. You know, the, 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 the blessings of Abraham and Jacob on all of y'all and your families and, and to come because something like this to stand on my floor you know when we came down we can't restore our head water, dust, rocks sheep rock deep as my ankles ankles right here where we stand and um, like I said we was ready to just give up Yeah, I, I just this it's way beyond what I what I could have thought, you know, at this moment. And um, you know, the city got involved. They was like contacted us. They were, you know, it's black. We got to tear it down. We put everything we had in it to go to court to keep them from tearing down our building. That was it. And that's what he said. All y'all hate. You know, I, I look at y'all and I see shorts. I see paint. I see carpenters, you know, tile workers, just laborers. Besides all the appearance, I see Jesus in you. And I can't get over it. I am just overwhelmed. You know, I want to thank you all. From the bottom of my heart, just don't want to say, I don't care what it is, don't care when it is, if you ever come back here, you come back here. <laughs> It's five of us, a big dog out there in a car. And do you know people still come in town and they still come to our house and they say, Ooh, can I just put a blanket right here? <laughs> hey, I do not care. Make yourself at home. When Walt told us on Monday morning that he planned on having this house finished and the blessing on Friday, um, one of the things that came to our minds was um, it's a wonderful life. And George uh, and his wife would help christen homes in Bedford Falls. And so we Googled what they gave each new home numbers. Um, it was salt. salt. So, your, so your wives always have flavor. Uh, bread, so they can never go hungry. And wine. So <laughs>
watch over your coming in and your going out both now and forevermore. Amen. Praise God.